Today, we're going to look at graphing radical functions, specifically parent function translations. The parent function for a radical function is y equals square root of x, and looks like this. By modifying the function, the parent function, in different ways, we can move the graph of that function to different places. We can shift it left to right, or up or down. or a combination of both. Please pause the video, copy the notes with these graphs and the labels. Be sure you copy the labels. Vertical translations. Take a look at the following example. In order to determine the vertical translation, we are looking to a value that is added or subtracted from the parent function on the side of the x. We are adding 2 to the parent function. In essence, that means we are subtracting 2 from the y side. Take a look at the algebra. See, your equivalent expressions. That's how we're getting the vertical translation. By subtracting 2 from the y side, we are in essence shifting the graph up positive 2 units. So the new graph looks like this. The old graph, parent function, is in blue. Please pause the video and copy this into your notes. This example will shift the graph which way. Pause the video, write down your answer, then restart the video. As you can see, this graph is shifted down 5 units. Again, taking a look at the function in terms of the algebra, y plus 5 equals square root of x. Please pause the video and copy this into your notes. The following is an example of a horizontal translation, y equals the square root of x plus 3. This has the effect of shifting y equals the square root of x to the left 3 units. The graph in blue is y equals square root of x. The graph in red is y equals square root of x plus 3. Please pause the video and copy this into your notes. Take a look at the following problem. Which direction do you think it will be translated? Please pause the video and try to solve the problem. As you may have seen, the graph in blue is y equals square root of x, the parent function. That gets shifted two units to the right to produce y equals the square root of x minus 2 in red. Please pause the video and copy this into your notes.
Here is a summary of all the vertical and horizontal translations for our parent graph. Please pause the video and copy this into your notes. Be sure to study these.